Oh, man. This may be the shortest book review or ends up being longer than the time it took to read it. Hello, fellow scribes. This is Law here. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my socials. Check the description. Do the links. Buy my book, Key of Arcandis, and all that other fun stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Today's drink is brought to you by water and an abundance of squeezing too hard on the glittery lip gloss because that's how I roll. I've already had drinks from other stuff, so I need a little bit of H2O going on in here. Nothing sponsored, by the way. All right, well, this is going to be a really quick book review, and it's from a fellow indie author, well, a couple of indie authors, and it's called... Uh... The Smart People's Guide to Bad Writing, <laughs> and in this instance, bad book reviewing. Ah, oh, seems appropriate considering the circumstances. I read this on the toilet. <laughs> I start and finished it on one bathroom break. So you can tell that this is gonna be very short and very sweet and very fun. So let's get into the stats, shall we? So The Smart People's Guide to Bad Writing is basically a satire book. It's in, not meant to be taken seriously. I should be like, yeah, it should be taken very seriously. Hi Scribes, Editing Law here. After going through this video, I realized that I never actually summarized what the book is about. If the title doesn't already give it away, it's basically a how-to guide on writing, but satirized so that all of the advice is terrible and antithetical to what you would actually want to do when approaching the art of writing as a whole. With that out of the way, enjoy the rest of my nonsensical review. I picked it up because I have recently joined Twitter this year. And I ended up meeting a lot of friends on that area. Like I've I've had my Instagram account for about three-ish plus years at this point, at the time of the recording. And honestly, like the growth there has been stagnating significantly because every two months they change algorithms and stuff like that. So I finally decided to dip my toes in the Twitter. And I guess I picked a bad year to do it with uh, all the drama going on with Elon Musk and whatnot. We'll see how this comment ages in the years to come. But in any event, I actually end up ended up finding my peeps over in the Twitter sphere. And within about two to three months, I had the same amount of followers as I had on my Instagram account in two to three years. And since then, it's only been growing. And I've been meeting a lot of cool people. And I've been following a lot of their stuff. And and, you know, the indie writing space has been a lot of fun. And so going forward with a lot of my reviews, I'm going to be working on a lot of the stuff that I already have on my bookshelf, which has come from many of the big five and other big publishers. But as far as new books that I purchase going forward, it's going to be all like indie and self-pub because there is just this fantastically open space. It's just that, you know, like myself, a lot of us get shut out from the standard markets. So with that in mind, I ended up befriending uh, Mr. R.T. Slaywood and of course the co-author is R.C. Martinez but I don't follow her account yet I need to fix that a lot of the Twitter people that I follow the most and hang out with them the most I've been trying to pick up their books and read them and so I managed to pick this up as Amazon was putting it on at a discount sorry Slaywood I did not anticipate like I don't whenever I purchase a book I never actually read the stats on it I don't read how many pages there are I, I just it doesn't come across to me. I just see title, I see descriptor, I put in my wish list. When it prices into an area where I can ostensibly afford, I buy it. And so when it came, I was just like, this is this is gonna be a quick read. And so it was. And basically all it is, is it's a 10 step guide on all the things that you should do. And each chapter is about that long. So as you can see, it's a very fast read and it's a very fun one. There's actually two stories going on at once. There's what it's giving you for information and then they give you these wonderful little back and forth tweets between the two authors and apparently I am still to this day trying to find out what happened to their artist. Uh, they did hire an artist for these wonderful graphics and something went down and now the artist is not around anymore. Uh, don't take that with any level of seriousness, please. That is the extent of my... Uh, 
rambling, although, you know, like it was a lot. <laughs> I have to say this was a lot of fun. This is I explained this book on my Twitter as Zeus grants stupid wishes combined with Excel Saga. When you combine those into a powerful 38 page not even using the full page, using maybe like a 16th of the page with like 14 or 16 point font aerial on this thing, uh, you can see that this is just a fun ride from start to finish that you can have while you're on the toilet. The part that ends up opening the most is the first two pages, like the opener for like all of the copyright and rights reserved and publishing information and ISBN and all that other jazz. Like that is like the longest portion. And I'm gonna just flash it so that that way my camera doesn't focus and that you can't read the whole thing. You'd have to buy the book first. Ha! If you are a writer, an author, a creative, or if you just like satire in general, I I would have to, as far as the rating is concerned, I would rate this a buy just because it should belong on anyone's shelf just to keep it in your bathroom so that when you have guests over, they can read it too in like the, you know, six minutes it takes to get through a pooping session, sometimes longer. I know people that can hang out in the bathroom for like a good 30 minutes and I'm highly concerned for them. I'm obsessed with toilet humor today in this particular review. Anyways, but I recommend it as a buy if you're just into wacky nonsense. Um, in any other case, I would at least recommend you rent it because you have to read it once. Once. You have to read it once. It is just a six minute crack filled fun time ride. And you all must read this book because it's just that darn funny and fun. Um, and, and you're not supposed to take it seriously under any extent whatsoever. Although the author may contradict me in any way, shape or form out of just, you know, if you know anything about this particular author, you know that everything they do is for the, the lulls and contradictory nonsense and it's fun and I'm, I love it. So anyways, R.T. Slaywood, and then obviously R.C. Martinez. You guys did good on this one. This one gave me a lot of lulls and I appreciate you. As always, what do you think? Do you like, do you agree, disagree? Have you read it? What is your favorite excerpt? Tell me the details because this is hardcore fun time nonsense. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. Buy my book, Key of Arcandis, on any online major retailer or go to your local bookstore and have their, and request it through their distribution copies. You know you want to get your hands on it and you all have a wonderful day. I will see you later.